And the tragedy here in Vegas has brought out the best in so many people. And I want to introduce you to Tom McIntosh. He was among the hundreds who were wounded when a complete stranger stopped to help him. And Tom, good morning. It's good, good morning. to see you. Thank you. First, I want to ask how you are. You were shot in the leg. Yeah, um, I'm a little sore. I'm okay, though. What happened? What do you remember? Uh, we were watching the show, and a bunch of shots rang out. We thought it was fireworks at first. and, and um, just kept coming and coming, and and uh, once everybody realized what it was, everybody started running, and, and that's where we were running out uh, to the east side of the property and tried to get over the wall, and I helped my wife over the wall, and, and I helped another lady over the wall, and then that's when I got shot. So then I jumped over the wall, and and uh, I was kind of walking down, trying to get away and, and bleeding really bad, and then that's when I, somebody tried to help me, and, and he wasn't really doing it right, and then, then uh, James came along and tied off my leg and kept me from bleeding anymore. And and another guy, uh, he put me in a truck, and that guy took me to the hospital and with James, and you know, just a lot of people helping out. You, you know, you were there, your wife, you had gotten her over the wall, and then after you were shot, you, you were saying you were bleeding out. You feel like you wouldn't have made it. I wouldn't. If have. If someone hadn't stepped in. No, I, by the time I got over the wall up, my pants were already soaked and my shoe was full of uh, blood. So, no, I, I wouldn't have made it. I know I wouldn't have. So, I, uh, you know, <laughs> I'm very thankful that, that James was there and to help me. Now, James, now you know his name, but you didn't know him then. No. Complete stranger. Yes. We were able to find James, um, and I know you wanted to thank him. I did. So we brought him here. Oh, wow. So that you could meet him, and James nice. is here. This is James Lawson. <laughs> there he is. Hey, man. Thanks, buddy. Of course, man. Oh, I appreciate it. You do? <laughs> yeah. I'm all right. All right. That's great. You haven't seen each other since yesterday. Uh, since we dropped him off at the ER. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> James, you, you found Tom. What did he look like to you? you? You could tell he needed help, obviously. Yeah, we, uh, I mean, we were, we were getting away, and uh, I just, we came across him. He was in the bed of a pickup truck. Uh, There's a belt, a makeshift tourniquet. It was kind of around his knee. Uh, it was a really wrong spot, and I uh, just, I walked up there, and he was actively bleeding. So I adjusted the belt, got it up where it should be, tighten it down, uh, we stopped the bleeding. I think we hung out there for 10, 15 minutes and uh, some some savior in a pickup truck came and said, do we need a ride? We said, yeah, we threw them all in the bed of the truck and we took off to the hospital. You and, must have uh, <laughs> both been terrified because um, this he was cool. Was <laughs> he was actually really cool about it. Yeah. I was terrified, but yeah. <laughs> I don't remember thinking. <laughs> um, yeah, we just, uh, you know, he kept wanting to not lose his foot, and I kept reassuring him that, and, <laughs> and yeah. he still got it. And we're good. <laughs> yeah. James, how did you know how to care for Tom? Um, well, I mean, I've been uh, in the Army Reserves for over 10 years now. We go through numerous uh, like combat lifesaver trainings and I uh, got my EMT shirt uh, a while back and um, we did anything with it and, until the other night so it was, <laughs> I didn't go through all that semester for nothing. <laughs> Tom and I were just talking before we came on here and he, he couldn't say enough about you saying he wanted to talk to James he had to tell him thanks. Of course. Absolutely. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> When we were speaking a little bit earlier, we were talking about this tragedy, and everybody is so shaken up yeah. and stunned. And I told you, you know, a story like this makes us remember who we really are, <laughs> two strangers coming to help. Absolutely. And, uh, I mean, there was dozens and dozens of other uh, concert goers doing the same thing. Uh, you know, they, they couldn't leave anybody behind. They were running back towards the fire to help more people. Um, you know, there's got to be hundreds of, of stories like this one. And um, I do want to say that whoever was driving that uh, Maroon F-250, 350, thank you. Thank you. Um, it could have been a whole different night if, yeah. uh, if he wasn't there when he was. I wouldn't be here. <laughs> I wouldn't. 
I'm so glad to meet both of you, and I'm glad <laughs> that you're back together and hope yeah. this is the beginning of a, a friendship here. Absolutely. Oh, uh, definitely. Most definitely. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you, you for being here. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.